Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can design and animate this neon looking slide in PowerPoint. Let's go! Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Skillshare is an awesome online learning community with thousands of classes for you, my friend. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration and many more. And I'm always looking for new ways to improve myself as a presentation designer. And learning new skills such as choosing the right colors when designing slides is really useful. So recently I have taken this class on Skillshare called Color Masterclass – Simple Steps to Create Vivid Art by Victor Nguyen. And first, the instructor has presented the basics of the color theory, and then we have examined how colors were used at some of the masterpieces. And I think that choosing the right color palette is super important in slide design. And in this class I have learned how to pick colors that work well together. So definitely check out Skillshare and start creating even more amazing presentations. First 1000 people who click the link in the video description will get 2 months of Skillshare Premium for free. By the way, today's tutorial slides are free to download, thanks to Skillshare, link is in the video description. And now let's continue with the video. Alright, so let's insert a fresh blank new slide. You can always choose a blank slide layout without any image placeholders, just like that. And now the first step we have to do, we have to find a beautiful background photo that we could use in PowerPoint. So let's just use this nice photo from unsplash.com, link is in the video description. And let's just drop it into PowerPoint. And now let's make sure that we crop this photo to the correct aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Uh, so that we can move our photo to the top left corner of the slide. And now we can increase the size of the photo so that it covers the whole slide perfectly. Just like that. Everything is looking beautiful. Alright, now as you can see in the original slide we have this triangle. So let's insert a triangle into slide number 2. Let's go to Shapes, Triangle. Let's click once and drag and you can hold down the Shift key to get a perfect uh, triangle. Just like that. And let's add a white outline to this uh, triangle. And in the line options we can choose 10 points for the width of the line. That's awesome. And for the fill let's remove it and choose no fill. Alright, and now let's rotate our triangle uh, 90 degrees to the right side. Just like that. We can squish it down a little bit. That's super duper awesome. Alright, now we need to find a photo of a woman who wears uh, virtual reality glasses. So where can we find such a photo? We can find such a photo on freepic.com. So let's just copy this uh, image. And let's paste it into PowerPoint. And now we need to remove the background so that we have only the person. So let me just flip this uh, photo horizontally so that uh, person is looking to the right side. Alright, so one way to remove a background in PowerPoint is to select the photo and choose Remove Background function. So you can use this green pencil to mark the areas that you want to keep and the purple areas will be deleted. So in this case it works uh, pretty fine and once you're happy you can click on the check mark to keep the changes. But once we zoom in, you can see that the edge of the photo is a little bit rough. And if you'd like to get a better selection, a better cutout, you could use a free open source program called a GIMP. So let's just use the fuzzy select tool. And let's just select a slight blue background. Click once. Now let's make sure that addition mode is activated. So let's click once again here at the bottom right corner. And now let's select these areas between the head and the arms, that's beautiful. And now we can uh, just make sure that the alpha channel is added to our photo. And now we can go to edit, choose clear to delete that background, skadoosh. So now we can just deselect everything, now select everything and hit copy to copy this photo. That's awesome. And let's get back to PowerPoint and hit command V or control V to paste our beautiful photo into PowerPoint. 
we can use the cropping to crop our photo a little bit because we have some transparent pixels and as you can see the edge of the photo is much more nicer we have some light here on the hair but i think it's good enough so let's just flip this photo horizontally so that our subject is facing to the right side that's beautiful and now we can play a little bit with the size of the photo we can even uh, rotate this photo so that we get the look that we want and now let's just go to selection pane and let's select our subject and let's uh, hide it for a little while and now let's select this uh, triangle hit command D or control D to duplicate and for this second copy, let's fill it with a yellow color and let's remove the outline. And as well, let's add a little bit of transparency to this fill, just like that. All right, and now let's zoom in and do a little bit of alignment. So let's make sure that this yellow triangle slides into the first triangle, just like that. You can use the arrow keys to move this yellow triangle. Uh, left and right up and down just like that so that looks perfect all right and now we can uh, zoom out and select the triangle grab this uh, top right corner and increase it upwards just like that now let's unhide our subject so uh, let's uh, select our subject hold down the shift key select the yellow triangle go to merge shapes and choose intersect and this way we have used the yellow triangle to cut out our photo into this beautiful triangle shape super duper awesome all right so as you can see we have this filter applied to the photo so let me just move everything to the right side and now let me show you how we can do a little bit of color correction to our photo so let's go to picture correction options we can reduce uh, the brightness we can increase the contrast we can play a little bit with saturation for example 200 percent and let's decrease the temperature of the slide i mean of the photo so that we have this blue effect going on and as well we can add inside shadow to this uh, photo so let's just choose this inside shadow and for the for the color of the shadow let's use the eyedropper tool and let's just copy this uh, hot pink color from the background photo all right so we can insert uh, we can increase the blur of the shadow and we can adjust the transparency so now we get this beautiful pinkish uh, filter to our photo all right and now we can select both the triangle and the photo and we can add them into one group let's group them now it will be easier to increase the size of this group if we would like to something like that and if you zoom in and you see this little gap between the photo and the white outline you can always use the arrow keys to move your photo up and down left and right so that looks perfect awesome and now all that's left is to add these two awesome looking text boxes so let's just go to insert text box well, let's make sure that text color is set to white so that we can see what we're typing let's type in VR let's select our text let's give it a huge font size and for the font I'm using heaters it's a free font link in the video description so let's just grab this text box and align it to where we want all right and we can add this beautiful pinkish shadow to these letters as well so let's just go to shadow options let's just choose any of the presets that we we'll like for example this one and once again let's uh, select this pinkish color and you can adjust the blur the size and the transparency 
to get the look that you want. Alright, now we can just uh, select the first text box, hold down the Alt key or the Option key to copy, or you can just hit Command D or Control D to copy. Hit Command D to copy, that's awesome. Now let's use the second text box and let's type in Experience. So we will definitely need to reduce the font size, so let's select all of the text. Let's change the font to Rupture Stamp. This is also a awesome free font. Link is in the video description. And let's type in experience. VR experience and as well in the shadow options we can adjust how the shadows are looking for this text box. So I guess we could uh, decrease the transparency so that shadow is uh, much more visible. As you can see, this is uh, maybe not a shadow, but more like a glow effect that we're uh, you know, trying to achieve here. That's awesome. And this is basically the final result, ladies and gentlemen. But let's take it one step further and let's add some awesome fly in animations as we had here in the original slide. So let me quickly show you how it's done. So we can select this first text box, VR, and let's go to animations. Let's choose fly in animation. All right, let's uh, go to animation pane. And here we can choose direction of the fly in. So from the left side, for, for the duration, let's choose 1.5 seconds. And let's add a bounce end to our animation. That's awesome. And now we can use the animation painter to paste this animation to the second text box. Let's make sure it starts with previous, which means it starts together with the first text box. For the delay, let's add 0 0.1 second. Let's give it a preview. Super awesome. And now let's uh, use the animation painter and paste the animation to the group. So as you remember, we have grouped the triangle and the photo. So they will be animated at the same time. Let's just make sure that we change the direction of the animation from the right side. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can design and animate this beautiful neon looking VR experience slide and PowerPoint. Tutorial slides are in the video description, feel free to download and experiment yourself. So thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video.